All right? Yeah, man. So we're back. Yeah, man. What I was saying, you know, you beat the, the last uh, part again. I was uh, speaking about, uh, you know, the multi judging uh, the, the sacrifice of uh, Cain and Abel. And the sacrifice of uh, Abel was judged to be, you know, an uh, 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 acceptable sacrifice, you know. And, and Cain didn't like that, man. And the same spirit is in these uh, devils, man. Like the apostles were saying, it's, it's just like Cain had, that had that mark. You know, he had to hide himself. And now, you know, that devil, you know, that wicked is being revealed, man. Just like in the book of 2 uh, Thessalonians, man. Because we're breaking down these strongholds, all these lies, all these philosophies, all these theories, you know, not fact, but theories that are being broken down into, you know, little bits, man, to be stomped upon, to be like chaff in the wind, man, blown away. And you see now the people, it's a mass awakening because the people are, are, are uh, being uh, awakened, man. Because this is all part of prophecy, man. The Most High, you know, uh, uh, taking off that uh, that gas, covering uh, gas, man. But can you finish the Ezekiel? Then uh, we can jump to uh, uh, let me see, it was Isaiah, correct twenty. Yeah, can you get Isaiah 25 to 7? So then then I'm going to jump back to uh, Ezekiel. Because the, the most eyes exposed in these devils, man. And you see now, I was watching a few uh, and listening to uh, some lawyers getting together. It was, it was a, a podcast from like uh, two months ago that they were uh, suing uh, uh, the state or. Yeah, they sue in the state, and uh, you know because of the new uh, C19 regulations and that it's uh, against the. Oh, you say that um, the Grundwet in the Dutch is the against the what was it the Constitution, Constitution basically, man. You know, and certain uh, laws you have like uh, privacy laws here that that uh, prohibit Esau, you know, his companies to share any uh, medical uh, information or to document even with medical information let alone sharing it to a third party man so these systems are, are, are watertight but still your, your, your rights are being violated because Esau makes the rules and he bends them whatever he, he likes man to uh, you know uh, be able to establish his uh, NWO man or build back better his new world order you know but the new world order is too out there everyone is uh, basically hip to what the new world order is about then everyone will link that. It's like uh, a certain uh, uh, term. Like if you say terrorism, you think about fucking Bin Laden, you know, or, or people blowing themselves up. Now, you, when you hear New World Order, you think about these uh, the Illuminati, you know, so-called, you know, the enlightened ones. We are the true Illuminati, man. To the spirit, to the spirit, we being enlightened, man, and we are shining light on these devils. And now they are scattering them like roaches, man, and they are making haste. Because their time is running out, man. The days are being sped up. Esau's time is being sped up as well. That's why he's all, you know, he, one lies is being is, is covered with another, and he's looking, looking more and more ridiculous. That even his own people are starting to go out on television. They don't give a damn about their career, man. Because you have uh, lawyers, uh, you know, uh, doctors coming out, speaking out against these uh, regulations, man. So. You see that Satan is divided against Satan on a, on a small platform, man. But the scriptures are in the This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast uh, over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Yeah, man. So you see that that veil was spread over all nations, man. Everyone has started to see what's going on, man. You know, everyone in his mama is being, uh, 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 you know, confronted with the C-19 situation now. And the, the most of the people are now already, uh, you know, they have their, uh, how they say, the inoculation or whatever that fancy word is. They are being stabbed, basically uh, one, one more step to the, <laughs> close to the grave, basically, man. That's what they get, or already got. So the majority has that thing already, but still, you know, the numbers are going up. So you have to save vicious cycle you know that people are getting into now they have to come with a new excuse oh there's a new 
you know, uh, yeah, I don't want to say it back to back because my video, I got, you know, red carded again, you know, because I made a video and, uh, you know, two weeks uh, strike again. So Esau is busy, you can't say nothing because he's scared because it's, it, this, this word is hurting him, man, you know? This word is hurting these devils, it's exposing these devils, man. Can you get that in, uh, um, in Obadiah and also in uh, Jeremiah 50? Verse, uh, what was it? Verse 7, if I'm correct, let me go back. Because everything is being exposed, man. I'm also in the book of Matthew, let me get that later. Because we at the end, man. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. We at the end, man. You know, so now it's, it's, it's time for this devil, for the wicked to be revealed. And he has been revealed, man as the devil that he is, Esau, man, the so-called white man. So everyone knows who's pulling the strings now, man. And they see that their rules and their regulations are not for you, but against you, to trap you, you know, to get you into a certain position, to be controlled. So look, take a look at Australia, man. People are there in internment in, in camps or in, so it's concentration camps, man. You can't go over the yellow line that's on your on your porch because uh, you will be fined five thousand uh, Australian uh, dollars, man. And that woman was recording sneakily because she was like, "Hey, let me just expose what's going on." And a lot of people are already, uh, you know, people from South Africa were reporting on it. You know, some some female was reporting on it, man. That the the things, that, the atrocities that are befalling Esau in Australia, you know, and also, of course, the up, uh, the aboriginals, man, you know, the Japhites there. So, there's a lot of people are, are, are now feeling the, the wrath or a little glimpse of the wrath of the devil, man, of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So, everyone is, 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 is uh, in, in a state of mourning because their freedom, the freedom is being, uh, or their liberties are being taken away, man. Yes, sir? Yeah, It's the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, go to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Yeah, man, and if you go into that word, devil, it goes into the, the word diabolos. And on the word Diablos, uh, let me look it up here. <coughs> it goes into um, a man. You have the spiritual uh, being Satan, and you have his uh, fleshly counterparts, which are these devils that are doing uh, the bidding on the left hand side of the of, of Satan. Man, basically, it is what the Most High wants because he has both sides under control, but. You know, if you look at it from, uh, in this world, they are Satanists. They worship the Satan. They don't worship Yahweh Basham Yahushai. They worship the Satan. So the word Diablos, G1228, prone to slander, slanderers accusing falsely. And that's what they're doing. You know, they're doing it with us. Oh, y'all a bunch of terrorists with the New Jersey, uh, you know, uh, with that shooting, blaming it on us, you know? Everything that's happening, that, uh, you know, this devil is blaming it on, on us, man. I gotta take one for your mom. Can you just give me the, this one, man? So we can put it on the floor. Yeah. You can grab the whole, uh, we just, okay, but you, you can put it on the floor if you want. Okay, sure. Don't throw it on. Because I'm bound, I'm gonna stay here. I'm not bound, I'm not bound, man. I'm fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One thing. Fuck that. Yeah, throw it up. Yeah, man. Fuck that. Yeah, man. Go out the way like, like this. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Yeah, man, so, you know, he's all slandering, man. Oh, yeah, a bunch of terrorists. Like, we, are, we are speaking the truth, man. We are speaking about the things that are happening because of you. The things that you have done. Take even a look at, the, at, at World War II, man. Who was the major murderer in that, that whole war? It's Esau, man. Yeah, can I add to what you say? Yeah, man. And these Edomites in Holland, in the First World War, they had a cocaine factory going on. So they were making cocaine there, and that time they had um, Indonesia as a uh, colony, so they had they yeah, were colony, yeah. colony. 
So they were planting those, uh, I call it those cocaine uh, plants. Uh, how do you call poppy, those? Uh, uh, no, 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 cocaine uh, leaves. The leaves. Uh, oh yeah, poppy is for the heroin. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the cacao, the cacao uh, plants. Uh, also, uh, the, la cocaína plant, the yeah, plant, cocaína. Yeah, cocaína. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were planting those plants over there, cocaína. and here they were uh, in Amsterdam. They were uh, fabricating, manuf yeah, fabricating, manufacturing yeah. the, the, the cocaine, yeah. and they were selling it to both parties, you know. And they were like making commercials, like you know, if you want, uh, if you got someone that you love uh, in, over there, you want to give them some uh, extra. This is the thing to give them, you know, with the fancy box and stuff, you know. Yeah. The coca, it's a coca plant. It's uh, the erythroxina. That's the true uh, the, the Latin the name. Latin. You know, the devil. He spoke Latin. So Latin America, take a look at. You know, this man wherever he goes, he puts his, uh, his name right there, man. You know. And about the the cocaine factory. Let me look that up as well. Here, Netherlands cocaine fabric. They're listening to man. <laughs> Been supplying entire of Europe. Yeah, it's in the 20th century. The 1900s. Uh, the, it's in 1878. You know, it's the first uh, when they uh, had the first uh, coca bushes, basically from Bolivia, and they put it on Java. Shortly after that, you know, they were starting to. Uh, you know, basically grow it for commercial uh, uh, goals on, on Java, Madura, and Sumatra, and especially the Col Colonial Bank of Amsterdam is, uh, were, was playing a, a very important role in the coca production and in the, the traffic, man. Yeah, man. So out of uh, a year, you want to say something? No, I was replying. Oh, yeah. I was replying. So lucky. No, no, I thought if you had something popular to your mind, like boom. Uh, add on to it. So uh, from uh, year reports from this bank, it, is, uh, it was evident that in 1891, it's almost 20 ton of, uh, you know, uh, 20 ton of leaves was being uh, uh, shipped back and forth, basically, man. And during the years after that, to, to the, uh, you know, the 2000s, uh, to the 1900s, the ill whistling, um, let me see, because I'm translating it. The Colonial Bank was uh, basically trafficking between 34 and 81 oh, thanks, tons. Yeah, 81, a ton is thousands, so 81 thousands uh, 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 <coughs> kilos of cocoa leaves, man. And, and the first, uh, for, it was basically the, uh, the case that they were shipping it to Germany, but because of the you know supply and demand, the demand got higher and higher. The cocaine in the in the in the, in the rising production on Jaffa, people saw that there was bread to start an own uh, basically uh, business of getting this cocaine uh, uh, basically uh, going. And the uh, Dutch cocaine fabric was uh, let me see. <laughs> the Dutch cocaine fabric, that's what that was the name. <laughs> and later, because of the colonial bank, later culture, uh, traffic, and in industry bank, then it was the culture bank, NV. It was uh, started at uh, 12 March 1900. So you see how they softened the blow by uh, changing the name from the Dutch cocaine fabric to colonial bank, to later the culture, uh, tr uh, basically traffic, you know, handel is basically uh, to, to have business. Great. And later it was the industry bank, like they were doing something real great, you know, to help the country grow, you know, to keep people, uh, you, know, uh, you know, off the street, as they say now, you know, you have something to do, you have a job, uh -huh. you have responsibility. Uh -huh. It's beautiful what they did. But they bought a bunch of fucking dope dealers, man. You yeah, know, man. that's what Esau is, man. Yeah, man. That's why the scriptures speak about it, you know, uh, through that traffic, man. Yes. You know, um, and let me go, go on. Let me just translate this. Let me see if I can, because the translation often. Yeah, it fucks it up. Yeah, man. The processing into cocaine took place in a building designed by H.H. Bounders. His name rings a 
Mandel also. Yeah, he was an architect, man. <laughs> Amazing. And if I'm correct, uh, yeah, he made the Astoria in Amsterdam. It was for the, the first uh, life insurance bank. Of course, six floors. The maximum height of 37 meters. It was one of the biggest. Yeah, there's always some bullshit in it, man. But he did more, man. He drew the, the Dutch cocaine fabric in 1900. He, he enlarged it in 1902 because, of course, the business was booming. And in uh, 1910, it was the biggest cocaine factory in the world, Craig. In the world. About flight security and nah, armor. These people are on the ne next level, man. In the world, Craig. Yeah. The world is a trouble, man. It's, it's, it's funny, crazy, man. It's funny because not not even 100 years later they quick to, to. I'm not I'm not justifying anything, but yeah. you know El Chapo, yeah. uh, Fidel Castro, all them all them all them Jakes. Yeah, that's that's evil. What you're doing is bad. Yeah, even though we are the number one, uh, number one uh, biggest, user of this shit, the bi yeah, right? The biggest motherfuckers in the game, man. Right? Esau is the biggest, man. Can yeah, move man. nothing about. There's a series or a movie on Netflix. I didn't watch it yet. I saw the trailer. But you also see it, you know, that they were uh, some Edomites. They had a big ship with cocaine on it, and they tried to enter a country, a West African country. But the man is like, hey, you gotta pay me a lot of money for me not uh, basically to fuck you up, you know. But mm -hmm. I didn't watch it yet. But, mm -hmm. Time and maybe gonna watch it. Number one cokehead in the world, man. Yeah, man. Even, you know, in, if you're in construction, most of them people, they're on something, man. Sure. They, they, they're on, on, on some, uh, you know, now you have the, what was it, the EM3 or something, the M3 something. They have them, them synthetic dope. Ah. But before that, man, people on speed, because mm -hmm. speed is cheaper. But if they could, they were all on cocaine. When they go out and party, that's what that's their drug of choice, man. Yeah, man. You know, that's what they what they love to do, man. You they you love to to uh, put something in their nose, man. These devils are something else, man. He yeah. get uh, Ezekiel uh, twenty eight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. Um, Uh, this is uh, uh, the tree from uh, tree to uh, yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Yeah, man, because he's definitely at the top, man. And now he's, you know, slowly but surely we are chopping him down, man, because these people are like wood, you know, in the words of Yahweh by Shem it's is like fire, man. Plus, it's like a double edged sword, it's cutting. A son to all of these demons, man. Even the demons that are within our people, man. Bringing out the true spirit of these people, man. Re revealing everything, man. Because this word is, uh, you know, we're shedding light in a dark place, man. You know? So everything's being seen. If you are in a dark place, you, you bring light in the dark house, you see in what, uh, you know, state the house is, uh, is in, man. You see what's going on. So you will know how to walk, where to walk, you know? To make sure you ain't bumping your head, head or you ain't tripping up, man. And now you also see that that the demon that's in the corner, you know, and that's Esau, man, messing everything up, man. You see him right there. You see the house all defiled, dirty, got satanic shit uh, on it. Then you see the demon in the corner with the, you know, with the with the paint and the with the, you know, everything is in caught red-handed because he's the one that's putting up all these satanic symbols. That's basically what we're doing, man. We're showing you who the bad guy is, and that's Esau Edom, man. And if you get mad, you know, hey, take a, take a look at this, man. Whose language do you need to speak in business? You know, who's the one that is uh, ruling uh, uh, the, the media? You know, which goes into the god of illusion. You know, giving you all these programs, programming. That's why they love the, the television, man. The CIA or the FBI, the one guy who said, like, this, this is the, the greatest weapon, you know, to uh, get the people basically docile, easily, easy to be uh, uh, steered into the ways that these uh, powers that shouldn't be, you know, the, these elites want them to have, man. 
they steering you into the ways they want through the television, man. They are making you accept the, the image of the beast, man. You know, they, they're making you accept these sodomites, cross-dressing. You know, where do you see that? Billboards also, they, through their, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, through their, uh, how do you say that? Um, yeah, com not commercial, but through their, uh, they were worth it, man, I forgot what it was. Marketing, you know, through their marketing strategies, man. They use commercials to get you subliminally some faggot in the back or some some shit, some symbol in the it's back. Everything, man. You know? Sure. People people kissing. Now you have Santa Claus being kissed in the in the, in the mouth, you know? Which that's already St. Tyne against Santa Satan, you know? And that guy, you know, uh, it's, it's a fucking miracle, man, because that guy goes uh, you know, with his elves or whatever, is flying reindeer, it's a bunch of bullets, a bunch of nonsense, man. And that is what Issa wants you. Why would you have to ch uh, you know, tell your children a bunch of lies, man? If someone is buying presents, it's one of the parents, man. That's just what it is. He has uh, Santa Claus, uh, Santa Claus you know, with black feet. You know, people dressing up as moors to mock uh, the children of Israel. You know, they have afros. They're all covered in soup. So their whole skin is dark, but the clothes are clean. Yeah, it's because of the chimney, man. So why doesn't uh, the helpers of Santa Claus and Santa Claus, why ain't they uh, all dirty and, and black? So that holds no weight, man. Your, your arguments are, 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 are a bunch of nonsense, man, to hide your hatred against the, you know, the hide your hatred for the, for the children of Israel, man. Because mm -hmm. we had you in slavery, and soon we will have you in captivity again, man. Thus say the Bible, you know? Would you want to say something else? Yeah, yeah, I saw this, uh, this commercial that I saw. It was about the perfume, I think. Something about forget everything around you, blah, 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 something like that. And of course, it had like a, uh, a cap. He was, uh, there, were, there were two females on the road. They started kissing in the cap. Uh, the whole traffic had to wait because of them, you know. It's a commercial for a perfume. We have uh, sodomites. Uh, yeah, man. It's a bunch of nonsense, man. You know? <laughs> I was thinking about it, you know. What does smelling good has to do with a bunch of so uh, sodomites, man? Exactly. And I was thinking, like, the only thing that smells good is the burning, you know, burning corpse of a sodomite. But I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to smell none of that, man. Yeah. But they gonna burn, man. Thus said the Bible, you know, thermal nuclear fire is coming, cherries are coming with, with, with fervent heat, man. Concentrated mm. fire, you know? That's a laser beam, man. Blasting them. All the ones that are against Yahweh Basham Yahushai that are against his men that stand for Yahweh Basham Yahushai because you're either with the Heavenly Father Yahweh Basham Yahushai or you're against them, man. And if you're against them, you're standing with the image of the beast, man, which is you embracing sodomy. Oh, your aura doesn't bother me. Okay, so you, 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 you're like, okay, it's, it's good then. We say, like, this is off. It should be, you know, eradicated off the face of the earth, man. All that should be. Uh, 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 off the uh, this this face, man. Off the face of the earth, man. Because it brings in wickedness. It's a resemblance. It's a reflection of wickedness, of a wicked spirit. You know. Another scripture. Yeah, man. Read. It's Isaiah chapter five, verse twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That yeah. put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitterness for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, man. This is something that uh, these people are doing, man. Through their laws, they're turning things upside down too, man. You know, if you have more, you can uh, bring it out. Because, uh, you know, these people put, uh, you know, uh, these sodomites up as something that to be proud of, man. You know? So, we are, we are showing you through the scripts that it is off, man. Because two men don't bring life. They bring death and sickness, man. Sickness that leads into death, you know? Yeah, I have Your behind ain't working like uh, like it should, you know. So that brings in infections, that brings in you know the nasty smells and all that, man. That's basically you 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 shitting yourself uh, 24 seven. Oh, you have the cathedral, or, or you know uh, how do you call it? Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, that's what it is. Stone, you have that, you know. The shit ain't working. Your body gets fucked up, man. Or stone, yeah, yeah, man. If you if your your, your things ain't working. Yeah man, you have a shit bag. Shit bag, yeah. Yeah man, 
This is uh, Amos chapter um, so like it's Amos chapter 5 verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the most high power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Yosef. Yeah man. So this is what you have to do man. We have to you know stay away from evil man. Hate the evil man. Stay in the, uh, 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 you get the first Thessalonians 5 and 20. That's, that's, that's showing you even the appearance of evil, you need to shun that, man. Because this is something that is, uh, you know, if you you being constantly, Esau knows the power of, uh, of, uh, of, of motion pictures, man. Mm. One picture speaks a thousand words, so what about motion picture, man? That's a thousand, it's like, you know, multiple pictures back to back. That was, uh, you know, how these movies started, man. Yeah, that you know the, the film coming rolling multiple mm -hmm. pictures back to back you know so it starts to be a motion picture mm -hmm. you know so from still image to moving picture so Esau knows how to play with your mind and to put in things that you know that capture your your your, your spirit basically man so you will be lured into that and, 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 and you know dragged into that uh, nonsense man so Esau is very smooth and slick with his uh, uh, with his craft man. You know, and through the 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 the, the tele live vision, he's programming you. You know, through all these channels, man. And there's no coincidence, man. Media, illusion, goddess of illusion, program is to program your mind. You know, tell live vision. You know, television telling a lying vision. You know, channeling. You know, what does he do? He chants. He channels demons, man. These people that are out on uh, in Hollywood, most of them, like Johnny De Depp said, you know, uh, when uh, I forgot who, who, who asked them, you know, one of these uh, uh, people that, uh, that have their, uh, their their late show, late night show, <laughs> were asking them, uh, asking them like, hey, do you watch your own movies? He said, nah, 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 I, I, I don't watch myself. But he's up there, you know. And the people start to laugh. Well, you know, we catch that, man, because <laughs> we know that, you know, they do their rituals. Spirits enter into them, they play out the part 100%, man. Because people do it in here well, yeah, yeah, as well, man. You have the, the, the people are going uh, to use, uh, you know, uh, dope, they use all types of shit, drinking, to the, you know, smoking, and then they get these uh, borders open for these demons, and then they are the top actor, man. Method acting and all that bullshit, man. Really get into that role. Denzel Washington is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z with rappers, man, Eminem opening his arms on stage, you know, that type of shit. Sasha Fierce, you know, Beyonce, you know. You have Roman with, uh, 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 you know, uh, what's that bitch name, man? And a bitch is a female dog, man, and that's what the scriptures say, man. I forgot what it was, uh, yeah, Nicki Minaj, man. And you have, did y'all did, did see that video of uh, what, what do these people want? If they want, uh, like, uh, a nine to five, a scammer oh, or a yeah. dope dealer. Yeah, 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 yeah. All them jakes were like, yeah, man, I want a, a dope dealer, you know. And some of them were like, yeah, scammer, as long as it, it, it ain't coming back to me, you know. And these Edomites were like, yeah, I want a, you know, a nine to five, you know, because that brings, you know, he's working. And that shows you that even these children of the devil, <laughs> you know, they got that straight, man, because that brings less uh, uh, trouble in your household, man. If you have a dope dealer as a, as a boyfriend, it brings in a lot of uh, troubles, man. You, you, you're in a fancy ass car, you have a nice watch, but you have to look over your shoulder. When someone is spraying, you might have to get down, you know, lay down, man, because the bullets might be for you, you know, by default. Because if they, and not even by default, but because if they don't like your, your husband, you fuck them over or whatever, or they're jealous, you think they gonna, gonna spray like, oh, let, let's get him, and. They spray up the whole car, man. You might get to catch one in the baby seat, man. And then what? You know? Because Esau's glorifying these, these dope dealers through the series like Power. Hey, it's dope to watch. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. But you see the, the wickedness in it as well, man. People can't trust each other, man. It's a lot of wickedness, man. But, um, can you read that thing about the traffic? Yeah. Oh yeah, and then go back. Uh, this is uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twenty-two. Abstain from all the fears of evil. Yeah, man. abstain from. So keep away from it, man. Stay away from that. You know, if you see something that that's, that's fucked up, stay away from it, man. Because most of the time, if you see something that's messed up, you, you go.
going to best believe that it will lead to messed up situations, man. Because that is the whole thing, man. Esau, he, he, why do you think he, he works with images? Why do you think he works with, uh, with movies, with sound, you know? Just to get into your spirit, man. To, to dig into you and to get you away from the Heavenly Father, man. You know? Can you get the Isaiah 45? Uh, 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 Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, Yahweh's hand uh, is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Yeah, man, because what do the scriptures say? You know, if, you, uh, uh, if you're... Uh, this is a man's way. No, no, no. Uh, turn away his ear from him. Oh, look it up. That's he then turns away the ear. The ear from hearing the Lord. Yeah, can you get Proverbs 28? And, uh, can you get that Proverbs 28 and, uh, and 9? Even? Huh. Yeah. Are we on that? One, eight, eight, eight. Yeah, yeah, 94. Yeah, 94. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 9. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Yeah, man, so, you know, the Most High is not that the Most High can't hear you. He, he can hear you, but he chooses to not hear you, not listen to you. Because why? If you can get the scripture in uh, the Proverbs. Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 9. He turned away in his... So like he turned away his ear from hearing the law. 28 verse 9? Yeah, yeah, slowly. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 verse 9. He that turned away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be ab abomination. Yeah, man, so he uh, that turned uh, uh, away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall become abomination. Do you think the Most High won't deal with abomination? No, man. The most high is, is all clean, man. So if you do filthy things, the most high be like, hey, I'm going to abstain from this man. You know? Get him away, man. Because your your sin is separating you from uh, uh, the Heavenly Father, man. It's your own wicked ways, man. You need to come back to the Lord, man. So if you do wicked, you, you're basically creating a greater distance between uh, uh, the most high, between us to the most high, man. So if you doing wicked it's basically you taking steps back man you get that uh, the uh, the Isaiah the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 59 that verse uh, verse 2 what your iniquities have separate between you and your power and hey your... can you get uh, can you get John 9 and 31 that is spot on man Nine and John 9 and 31. That's beautiful, man. Because, you know, a lot of people think, hey, hey, the most I hear me. You know, you need to clean up your act, man. And you need to, you know, keep, uh, keep praying, man. Until, you know, uh, what was it? Um, I forgot the, the, the other scripture uh, goes, man. Give him no rest. You know? Keep praying, man. Keep on going, man. Can you look that up? Give him no rest. Come. Can't read? It's the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Okay, can you start at 30? Uh... Verse 30. The man answered and said unto them, Why herein, herein is a marvelous thing that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he had opened your, mine eyes. Huh? Yeah, now we points, know. The points, uh, yeah. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of the Most High and does his will, him he heareth. You see? So can you read that last? Uh, uh, can you read that uh, verse again? Uh, Nine and thirty-one. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of the Most High and does his will, him he heareth. 
Yeah, man. About the, 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 the man that was blown from the store. So he see that the most High, he ain't hearing no sinners, man. And you should not pray for sinners neither, man. You know? Unless they, uh, you know, if you see that people are willing to repent, but if they are stuck and stupid, man, like a man that is a heretic after this, uh, you know, the second admonition, reject, man. So if, if one is a heretic, a heretic is one that follows his own mind, that wants to do his own thing, you know. And uh, the scripture says, sinful man will not be reproved, man, but finding an excuse to do his own will. So if a man is a heretic, he's stuck on stupid, man. That's basically what it is. There's no... Uh, uh, you know, he's so stubborn and stiff-necked that he won't turn away from his sins, man. And if a man, uh, uh, you know, if he's stuck on upon his bullshit, you should stay away, man. You know? Right. Can you get the, uh, what, 32, uh, what did you want to get? Yeah. And what were the key words again? Uh, you want me get to? him no rest. Uh, you have something? Yeah, yeah, let me, yeah, this is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 22, verse 11. Be for the dead, for he had lost the, for he had lost the light, and be for the fool, for he bought understanding. Make little weep for the dead, for he is at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Yeah, man, the life of the fool is worse than death, man, you know? You know, if, if someone is, is perishing and he's in the, in the truth, you know, don't worry, man, he's in the spirit world, he's in his right mind, but, you know, if, if one is, is, is Stuck and stupid, man. That's worse than death, man. That's worse than death. Can you get the? Uh, I forgot, man. Yeah, Sirach 12, verse uh, 16, concerning the beast, you know, uh, with the sinner. That's why you need to be continually with a godly man. You know, that's what the scriptures say, man. In Sirach 37 and uh, 12. Yeah, 16 or it's 14 on down. Yeah, 14. Yeah. So this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 14. So one that goes to a sinner... Can you read a little bit longer? So the one that goes to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins... Can you go with the who's who will be this name, John? Yeah, verse 13. Yeah. Uh, book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nine wild beasts? Yeah, man. Because the one that loved the danger, he shall perish you in. That's what the book of Sirach also st uh, states, man. So who will pity a snake charmer? If you like, and a snake be like, shh, shh, shh. You, 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 you playing around with it, charming the snake, you know, thinking you're doing it ever so wisely. <laughs> but, you know, it's a dangerous thing. You, you're playing with death, man. You're playing with, with, with your life. So you're tempting the most high, man. So if someone gets caught by that snake, and people were like, ha, finally that motherfucker got, you know, he, the snake got him. This is good for you, man. You know, people will laugh at you, man. Because you, you're playing with, with, with death. You're playing, you know, with fire your whole fucking life, basically. You know? And then you get caught. You get burned by the fire. In, in this case, you get uh, bitten by the snake. People going to laugh, man. You're going to be a laughstock, man, to, to uh, everyone that's around you, man. Same thing with, uh... If, if you give you yourself over to the loss of the flesh, you know, I'm going to get to that, uh, let me see. Can you finish those two scriptures? And then uh, we'll get, we'll get the precept. Uh, uh, verse uh, 14. It's Rob chapter 12 and 14. So one that go to a sinner and is defiled with him in the sins, who will pity? Yeah, man, so if you go with a sinner, abstain from all appearance of evil. So if you see people doing wicked, you know, the scriptures say, you know, don't follow a multitude to do evil, man. You know, if some, uh, 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 you know, say like, hey, let's go and shed blood, like in uh, can you get Proverbs, uh, the first chapter? You know, you shouldn't go and, and go after people that, that are uh, bloodshedders, man, you know, because the Most High hates murderers, man. He, he hates people that shed innocent blood. He hates people that sow discord, you know, that, that break up brotherhood, man, friendship. Because friend goes to really to brother, man. That's why a male and a female, they can't be freaking friends, man. I always said that, man. I cannot be friends with a, with a female. Even if she would be a fucking sodomite, I would still have in my mind, you know, she has something that I can put something in. You know, it's the, it's a normal way of thinking. And my science sound fucked up. Of course, these sodomites have a nasty spirit, but 
you know, just to uh, explain it simple. It's a female, you are male, we have a certain uh, vibration, they have a certain vibration. They get wet, we get hot, we go in, you know, and that's how children be born, man. In case y'all forgot, because in this world, <laughs> <laughs> they show you different. They put the womb of a woman and a man and ah oh, man. It's total confusion, man. Talking, talking about multiple genders and stuff. Yeah man, there's 300 and something genders, <laughs> you know. What's going on man? You have male and female. Male and female created he them. You know, the most high your how about show me how shine the angel created male and female and that's it man. Y'all making it too damn uh, 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 you know, hard, so-called, man. It's really confusion, man. The most is not the author of confusion, man. He's very straight with things, man. But hey, the, the, the wise shall understand, man. Just what it is. And if you are an idiot, uh, a numbskull, you know, shit for brains, as they say, then you won't get it, man. That's what it is. If you want to have Esau opening up your, the, you know, your, your, your cranium, basically <coughs> putting more dung in there, you know, getting your brain out, putting pool in there, shit, closing it up. If you want to get your refill, keep washing it, man. So you can, well, you know, fill your head with more shit. Keep washing it, man. Keep trusting in this devil. And he stabbed you in the face so many times, or in your arm, since he got that C-19 jab and the booster, and the booster for the booster, because they had shots for seven years, man. Complete shot, you know? They got that, man. <laughs> I saw a clip that they had that, man. One of these people in Australia, they, they said like, yeah, they had this, them, them, them uh, you know? Shot us, ready. The shot us, ready for the next seven years. They got, they got you, man. Don't worry. They just come up with new, new, new uh, V, Aryan, you know. And y'all gonna be running to them, man. Oh, I wanna go to my favorite restaurant to get my uh, abomination, you know. I wanna go watch my movies and be, you know, uh, at ease from all the this ease that is going around, you know, and around in the bottom. Even though I have to have, wear my plastic covering, my mask, my glasses, my, uh, you know, uh, my plastic or my, uh, what did they call that shit, my um, latex uh, gloves or rubber gloves, you know. Even though I have to go out there in a, in a basically in a moon suit, I want to go out. <laughs> People are ridiculous, man. Unbelievable. In the cars with the whole get up that I just summed up, except for the moon uh, suit. <laughs> hey, they got that on in their own uh, vehicles, man. And Isa telling y'all to, when you have visitors, you know, mask up. Fuck out of here, man. In the beginning, they were saying, like, hey, have one sexual partner, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I'm like, what do you have to do with what I do with, mm. with you know, in my, in my uh, daily life, man? Mm. Esau, so he wants to control everything, even who you who you're fucking, man, and when you're doing it, and how. Yeah, just stick to certain positions because you know, with your, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. come on, man, this this is the devil, man. No shame, man. Unbelievable, man. But yeah, man. Can you get the the proverbs one and uh, yeah, when the sin is enticed. Book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My son, if sin is enticed thee... You know, they want to lure you in. Hey, let's go, man. You got to get this door. You know, it's only one in and out, man. Come on, son. You know, if sin is enticed you, okay? consent thou not. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for that, for that <coughs> lust trap. Don't fall for that, man. Because they ain't got, uh, got it out for you in your best interest, man. They want you. You know, misery loves company. <laughs> you know, that's what it is, man. Mm -hmm. Even on the left-hand side, they want company. But they will they will use you, and they will, uh, you know, they will drop you in, the, in an instant, man. Because they are opportunists. Yeah. They, are opp they are opportunists, man. So when they're done, they will use you until they see another opportunity, and they be, you know, they be gone, man. Okay? If they say, come with us, let us lay grave for blood, let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. 
Germans, let us lay away, you know, scheming, you know, getting the innocent, man. Huh? Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and all as those that go down into the pit. Yeah, man, that's what Esau is doing, man. And the scriptures say, the eye, you know, uh, what was it, the eye and the, the ear? And the grave, uh, the eye and the ear. What was it, man? Can you look it up? The, uh, the grave is never full. The eye and the ear is uh, in the grave are never full. Something to that effect, man. Or it is the, the eye and the grave. But you can read. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Yeah, man. Robbing and stealing. You know, that's, that's the Esau's MO, man. And the wicked of our people as well, man. They're doing that wickedness. You know, but the, the riches of the, 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 the wicked, hey, it's, it's not uh, a thing that you can uh, speak about it, man. It's not something that you can really be um, building upon, basically, man. Because it's, it's for a short term, man. Because if you do shit in wickedness, the most I gonna deal with you, man. The most I said, thou shalt not steal, man. One of the, 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 the basic, one of the fundamental uh, commandments, man. Thou shalt not, uh, one of them is thou shalt not steal, you know? Of course, when you are dead uh, poor, you, 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 you know, dirt poor or whatever you want to call it, you know, you can you can take bread, but if you get caught, you need to, uh, you know, return it sevenfold, man. Restore sevenfold. There's, there's laws for everything. Because the, the most I knew what was going on, and, uh, what was going to happen in this world, man, you know? That people were greedy. That's why we have laws that, you know, the, the if you have your 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 uh, your crops, you need to leave something for the for the, the the people that have less. So everyone will have have something, man. And even the apostle Paul was speaking about if you have a stranger in Israel that is uh, outside of Israel and he seek uh, seek it to come back, you need to uh, give him a, a part of the land, man. You need to give him something that he can start something up, man. And that's we how you battle homelessness, man. And these people here have their own people, their, the people that are out in the army, out on the street, man, strong out on dope, you know, because they seek something to ease the pain, man, the mental pain, because they went there, they saw, uh, saw people getting their heads, you know, blowed off, you know. They have a lot of trauma, man. And then they, you know, come to the understanding that they did that for nothing. Because a lot of people that go in the army and that actually are there, they, they, they understand that, hey man, we, it seems like we're the bad guys, man. Because people here are defending what they have, man. And Esau comes there, what do you have to seek in another man's country, man? That's wickedness, man. Because if you go do that, if, this, if it's the other way around, what is the, the slander that Esau puts out there? Oh, he's a terrorist. Oh, he's this. Well, what are you doing in the countries in the Middle East? What were you doing in all these wars, man? Say something. Huh? Yeah, and now you have uh, America want to stand up against Russia. Biden is like Biden, because uh, Russia said, Putin said, that uh, NATO, need, basically, uh, NATO, they need to move back, you know, from... Yeah, from, uh, fall back. Yeah, they need to move back, and then she, they, he doesn't want them to be so close to Russia. And he said that he's ready to go into, uh, what's it, Ukraine? Mm -hmm. If it was Ukraine, you know, so he's yeah. ready to go to go there, you know, but Biden said like, yeah, he's not uh, going to take, uh, 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 accept the line that uh, uh, Putin is drawn, you know, Putin is like, you can go to, yeah, it's, 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 you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but America been doing this, like the brother said, they've been doing that, invading all kinds of countries, so-called, talking about this and the dictatorship going on, whatever, you know, we need to free the people, and, and going everywhere, but now, Somebody else want to do it, and now you want to be like, yeah, you can't do that, you know? Hypocrites, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's Esau, man. Esau is a hypocrite. You know, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Man. Yeah, man. So let him do his thing, man. He's digging his own ditch, man. You know, he's getting himself ready for to step right into continual employment, man. That slavery is, is, is waiting, man. It's going to be hardcore, man. It's not going to be like, oh, you, you know, uh, please, uh, you know, give me a, a, a you know, Jan, uh, give me a, 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 a drink, please. It's not going to be like that, man. You're going to be out there in the field, man. You know, you're going to be working very hard, man. You, 
y'all never work hard, man. Y'all claim to work hard, even at the job, you know. You see people, you come in there, boom, fixing things up, coming to check how we doing it, then you fix the things up, and then you act like you did something, man. We come, we fix different things up, then you walk in there with your chest on high, man. That's the devil for you, man. Thinking he know everything, you know. But hey, we have to tolerate these devils because this this is part of our, our punishment, man. If you slick with it, you know, you can get him in, in with their own uh, with their own in their own tone, man. You no, know, but don't be uh, overdoing it because you know they're going to conspire against you before you know it. You're out of the, out of the job, man. You need to be real slick about how to deal with these devils, man. Just put curses on them, man. If they really want to see you falling, which uh, a lot of devils uh, are, you know, they have that in their in their spirit. Just let uh, you know, pray that the Most High will curse him according to his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because he knows what the devil fears. He knows what everyone fears. And pray that you will be protected against these curses, man. And watch them devils fall. Watch them have back pain. Watch them have all types of shit. You know, <laughs> I've been through that, man. So. You know, Yara of the Zah, man, you can stay in the spirit, man, when you are around these devils, man. Because again, it's, it's part of your punishment. But if you really see that, hey, they, they're pushing it, pray for curses. Keep praying for curses, man. And pray for, for your own protection, too, man. And to stay in the spirit. Because if you lash out and you whoop one of these devils, you know, yeah, man, you're messing yourself up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, to uh, go back. Uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse... Uh, 13. Am I correct that the one is done, right? About yeah. the shedding for innocent uh, blood. Yeah. You can go, uh, you can go back. <coughs> Isaiah 59 and uh, 2. And I had one more, by the way, uh, because of the... I say a 62 still here. 62? Yeah. And what? Uh, Did you pull that? Six and seven. Yeah, I read. Uh, I say a chapter 60, 62, verse six. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Most High, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah, man. So we are out there. Oh, we went to a little bit uh, different, but let me look up the word rest there, man. There's a beautiful scripture, man. Can you read it again from the top? Right. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. He that make mention of the Most High keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah, man, so always, you know, uh, be, be busy with this work, man. Like we started off with, you know, doing the work, giving, get, uh, you know, putting your body out there as a living sacrifice. It's cold. People be like, I ain't going outside, man. <laughs> it's good for that, man. Hey, call all your whole bunch on your shy, man, because that's the same guy. Yeah, I know. It's the same guy that 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 let his dog shit, you know, where we uh, were, were were teaching, man. Oh, and I, I, I told him like, hey, why are you doing that? You see us here, see every every uh, you know every week. Yeah, man, hey, we need to go then. Uh, now he fall on his ass, man, right in front of us. You know that's electric boogie on the, on the street. Yeah, man, good for him, man. You know, he's going to get his, man. This is just a, a prelude, man. That's it. He can't even control his dog, man. Yeah, man, the dog is controlling him. Little, man. Little feeble. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, so this watchman uh, up on the walls, man. Why? Because a watchman is always set up high so he can look and see in a far distance, man. Just this is when you see the enemy coming, if you're on the same level as everyone, you, you, you can only look for so for so far, man. And of course, this is through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So we're standing upon the tower, 
you know and we've seen from uh, on that tower we've seen way in the in the way in the distance man and when the enemy is coming we are showing you what's going on man through the spirit of Yahweh by showing you how shy so you know watchmen are, eight, are, are set up to warn the people man can you get the uh, Isaiah 42 this is um Look up the the scripture. The man of uh, warfare. The man of warfare. In the uh, Ecclesiasticus, in the book of Sirach. Ah. Can I not uh, say it right? The man of warfare. And let me go into the book of Isaiah. These people be like, yeah, how do you know? It's the most high that revealed everything. Man. It's, uh, it's uh, no, Isaiah 42 and then 9, and then you can jump to uh, Isaiah 46. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare for the spring, for I tell you of them. Yeah, man. So this is, this is what... Uh, what, what is happening in the, in the spirit, man? The Most High, can you get the quick precept, Amos 3 and 7? This is what the Most High is doing, man. Everything that, that we, we know, we know through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. The Most High declares it, man. And how, how does he do, do it now? He, he revealed it to his uh, servants, man, so we can utter it. You know, the prophets are out on the highways and hedges prophesying, saying before, pro. Is, uh, you know, facade grows before facade to say, saying before things happen. Watchmen, you see the danger to the spirit, you see what the devil is trying to do, you see the times that we're living in. So, we're warning our people to get right, man, with the Heavenly Father, you know, to get him back into the fold, get back into uh, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, pray, you know, so we can get uh, the hell out of here, man. Hastening that day, desiring, earnestly desiring for the days to come. But how do we do that? Put it in work, man. If you want to build a, a temple, which we are building in, in, uh, in the spirit, you know, according to, uh, can you get the first Peter, first Peter uh, two, first uh, five? Because we are lively stones, man. You know, we are a We are a part of that new temple, man. Because these devils, they they they, do, they see everything carnally, man. First Peter, right? Yeah, two and five. It's the book of 1 Peter, Peter, chapter 2, verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. You see, so we're building up a spiritual house, man. The house of Israel. You know, and we are shining a light for the ones that are in the house, man. That are part of this thing, man. For no one else. Because, you know, we are the ones, you know, the, the light, it, it embraces us, man. If you're a cockroach or whatever insect you are that doesn't like the light, you're scattering, man. And that's what Esau's doing. What, that, that's those other nations, man. Huh? You also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Masayah. Yeah, man, that's what we're doing, man. Part of that is, you know, doing the work, give, uh, giving ear to the law, and put it in, into your life, man. And, you know, applying it, man. Not just hearing it, doing it, man. Because if you hear it and you're not the doer, you know, hey, that's basically you, you're a hypocrite. You're an actor, man. You're faking it, man. You, if you're faking the funk, the most I can boot you out of here, man. If you're a damn liar, a deceiver, the most I can boot you the fuck out of here, man. Because you ain't no, uh, the most I ain't, ain't got no need for lies, man. Esau is building his kingdom. Build this kingdom upon bloodshed, upon lies, upon deception. How's that going? So think about that, man. When you want to lie and deceive your own brethren, man. Especially those that want to help you. So, yeah, man, it's, it's very disappointing, man. It's very disappointing, but hey, 
a brotherly shall ugly, uh, a brother shall ugly supplant, man. <laughs> supplant inside info. <laughs> What's the, who, you know? If you go to the word supplant, you get it. But um, you, you wanted the man of war? Uh, yeah, man. Real quick. Also, uh, something popped into my mind, man. But uh, y'all just don't get it, man. Yeah, you get the man of warfare because I was speaking about, you know, Esau putting people out on the line, you know, on the front line, people losing limbs for, the, for their countries, you know. America! <laughs> Coming back, nothing is there for you, man. You get your wife pregnant, you know. But I was away for, for I don't know how long. Yeah, you know, me and John got together and, you know. He was there. I was lonely. I needed the attention. Yeah, then the divorces and takes half also. Because Esau is partaker with adulterers and thieves, man. That's one of the ways how Esau is a partaker of adulterers, man. Can you get that quick in uh, Psalm 50? And can you read that what you have? Huh. 50 and 16. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart. Yeah, man. And the third make me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty, and man of understanding that are not set by, and one that returned from righteousness to sin, the Most High prepared such a one for the sword. Yeah, you see that? Can you read that one again? Yeah. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third make me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returned from righteousness to sin, the Most High prepared such a one for the sword. Yeah, my soul, men of war, man, the suffering poverty. Here, here it is, man, you're putting out your life, you're putting your, your life on the line for your, your kinsmen. <laughs> Crazy smile, whatever. But you're putting your life on the line for your kinsmen, for your countrymen. Then you come back, the same people that you fought for, the same land, the same land, man, the country, all these these uh, higher ups are hanging you out there. Some, all these higher ups are just leaving you out there, man, on the streets. You know, covered in shame, man, because to be a homeless man after you've been fighting in a war for your country, risking your life. That's disrespectful, man. To be out there, hey man, who's that? Yeah, that's, uh, you know. I got no legs. He, 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 he. What did you do, man? I, he, he, he's just a bum on the street. And he asked him, then he asked him, hey, what did you do, man? Yeah, yeah man, I was in the, you know, the non Vietnam War, I fought in this war, I fought in Iraq, I found this, this that, and the third, you know? So called for good cause, but eventually, if they go there, they find out that it is really, you know, uh, vice versa. But still, in their ignorance, you know, a lot of them go, go in the army, man, and they ain't got shit to, uh, you know, come back to. But a uh, adulterous wife, you know, that will that's ready to divorce you, taking your shit that you work for, because you get that check. Where does the check go? Do you, you think you're gonna spend that check out there in Iraq, you know? <laughs> you know, so that's just what it is, man. That's just this system is wicked, man. And these these females also, man, they need to be put down, man. That's just what it is, man. Can you read that one in uh, book of Psalms? Uh, the to be set by is um, uh, basically uh, uh, to save something for future use. Yeah, it goes also to, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if we can get some anonymous. So basically, to have, it goes into you having something that is, uh, uh, you know, for your, you know, you know, for future use, basically, man. You know, you've been, you're coming back. You've been taken care of by the people that, that, that you fought for because you have your leaders that are your head, that you're part of the king's army, but the king is like shitting on you when you come back. That's bullshit, man. He's supposed to, you know, have your back, set you uh, up, up good, man. 
you know, have some money for you, for your family, you know, give you some land or whatever, so you can be able to, uh, you know, so you're able to take care of your family and, uh, uh, how do you say that, enjoy the thing that you fought for, man. You fought for him. Mm -hmm. But here it is, he turns your back, uh, his back on you, man. He's, he's, so you're not set by, you have nothing to go back to. That's, 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 that's wicked, man. That's why it grieves, you know, if you, if you take a look at that, it's, 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 it's causing grievance, man. Let me see, um, if we can find something here. Uh, the word set. Cause to sit, put in some place, fix, firmly, build, found, appoint, assign. Um, I don't think if I can find something here. Let me see, collection of things. Let me see. Well, basically, what I found was, was good. Yeah, that's basically what it is, man. Yeah, basically things for future use, man. And you ain't got none with you when you were you know, bummed. You know, but shame, people looking down upon you, you know, looking at you funny while you fought for their uh, so-called freedom. <laughs> you know, but yet you were fought, fighting for uh, the, the so-called uh, elites, man, that used you, like Henry Kissinger just said, you know, these, uh, these, these army people are nothing but dumb animals, man. Sure, they're man. using you, man. And now they say, yeah, I don't know if it was a quote. It, what do you think? That he, he's like, hey, man, hey, you did a good job. He's like, fuck you. Go get my money and shut the fuck up, man. If you die, it's another sacrifice today. So it's a win-win situation. That's what it is, man. But can you read that uh, song? And you had, uh, what did you have? I, was going, I still had... Uh... I say, uh, uh, no, first Peter, first Peter, uh, first two, Chap uh, chapter two. Oh yeah, save that one, and then we're going to read it again, then I want to go to Matthew 5, and yeah, yeah, then, then I want to go to, to Romans uh, again and 2 Timothy. So read that. Just the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, Jehovah said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah, man, because the covenants belong to the children of Israel, man. You know, Hebrews 8 and 8, Galatians 4 4. You know, what was it, uh, Ezekiel? I forgot which chapter, verse 37, or, uh, you know, that we shall be sprinkled. But it's basically a precept to, uh, to uh, Hebrews 8. Yeah, man, I, I had that in mind. I was like, nah. <laughs> but yeah, read it, man. It's great. You want to read the songs? Read? Yeah, yeah, man. Then you can go, go back. Then I'm a fact check. You know? <laughs> That's another thing, man. Fact checkers, man. If you, <laughs> these, these devils come out with their uh, damage control uh, websites, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. Really true that the the vaccine or the the, the you know the jab causes this and that and the third. Mm -hmm. and no, false. it's false. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the simple belief in every word, man. Yeah, man, that's what they want you to believe. But now you have doctors, so now they can't say it's the low educated, the Bible Belt people, the people who uh, what was it again? The low educated, the Bible Belt, and um, immigrants. Immigrants. Huh? So are not original from other. Yeah, not the immigrants. Non Western yeah. immigrants. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what he's yeah. saying. Because so they can't. On Jake's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, can, they, can't, they can't understand the language and, uh, you know. Because yeah. I was watching the, uh, and, uh, a few uh, clips. Because you have a lot of people now, Edomites even, you know, that are going against their own people, man. Yeah, man. Because they see their paradise is falling apart. It's trouble in paradise, as they like to say, man. So it's trouble in their paradise, man. You see? Oh, shit. Oh. It's trouble in paradise, you know? So, 
All these women that are at ease, you can go from left to right, do and fro, up and down like Satan. You know? <laughs> it's gonna be over soon, man. She's already in the rain. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> with the fixing the shoelace. She was Yeah man, it's, it's gonna be a rap soon, man. So these these levels are now they can't go with the whole thing because you have people like I said that are uh, uh, you know they went to the university they have their degrees in law you have actual lawyers uh, doctors in different uh, virologists and all them fancy titles that they carry you know doctor this M R you know master of this that's in the, in the third in law all day on the television podcasts. You know, they go on BitChute now because they see that the censorship is coming. We've been welcome. No, not welcome, but hey, you know, like, finally you're going to see, you're seeing some shit. It is what it is, man. This is what ha what has been going on for a long time, man. Why do you think the apostles got the 12th channel up, up on, you know, mm -hmm. walk and talk? I don't know how, how many walk and talk, like 18 or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as little as, but, you know, they had many channels, man. The apostles around them, the same thing, man. Multiple channels upon, you know, channels upon channels. Even for us, we just came in, basically. I already uh, are going to my, my, I have, I don't know how many channels, man. And they keep, I be, I'm being shut down. Even my, my video got shut down of a channel that was already deleted. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, I was like, Isa, you looking for me or something, man. But good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you heard, man. But it's dope here. The channel is gone, but they still heard by the video. You know? Yeah, man, they still heard. So, I, hey, y'all already saw it did a lot of damage in these devil's minds, man. Because that's what we're doing, man. We're consuming you, man. You know? Can you get that real quick on 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and 8? Come on. That's what we're doing, and that's what we love to do. We love to chop you down. You like wood. You know, we like the, the you know, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what we're putting out there, man. That we're putting out fire, man. Let's take off some. Huh? Let's take off some of our body. If you are a big tree, we are down. a small axe. Yeah, man. And we keep chopping and chopping and chopping. Ready to chop you down. Yeah, man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> That's what it is, man. <laughs> we keep on bringing that fire, man. More fire. More fire. Yeah, we're burning you up, man. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. The, second, the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed. That devil. <laughs> and then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the most high shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's his prophets, man. We are out here on the high ocean head just telling you who the devil is. Oh no, man. It, it, it must be the Arabians. Nah, man. <laughs> Esau is the ones. I used to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. In the airplane, you know, do you have uh, Prince Ali uh, or whatever Abu Dhabi guy on you, uh, on your, on your money? You know, <laughs> are you using the? I don't even know what the fuck they're using there over there. They even use some petrol dollars, man. Come on, man, get yeah. the hell out of here, man. That's why they get rid of uh, Gaddafi mm -hmm. because he was uh, he, he wanted to uh, get rid of the petrol dollar yep. and make that coin, you know, with Africa. The dinar, yeah. the golden dinar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But uh, Esau ain't the one that is in control. Esau is the one that is ruling according to the scriptures, man. Mm. You know? He's the one that is in power, man. Whose language do you need to speak if you want to do business? You need to speak English just like these, uh, you know, uh, devils up in America, man. In America, you know, you have the, the great whore there, man. The daughter of Babylon, you know? They're the one that, that deadly wound was healed, man. That beast, that beast system is, is set up there. The UN. You know, of now the EU, you know, the, uh, wasn't the, uh, in, in New York, the, the building of the, e, the, the headquarters of the EU? No, United, the Na United, United Nations. Nations. is there. And with the, with the, with the, in Brussels, you have the, the EU uh, building, uh, you know, and you have the master computer, the beast, you know. And in Brussels, you have that building, which is uh, set up like the Tower of Babel, Maybe. man. So they all, uh, you know, uh, they all are, are, are intertwined, man. You know, you have the e EU, the UN, you have the Vatican, you know, so you have, you have Britain, which is their monetary system, basically their strength, their money. You have the, 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 the Pope, you know, the Vatican, the snake, you know, the divining serpent, Vatican, you know, that demon, 
that's the, the, the religious side of it. And you have the army. And then you go to the, you know, to the devils up in America, man. Because that's their strength. So Esau has his system set up, man. And that whole system, that beast-like system, you know, you being, uh, uh, you know, according to them, so-called free, do what thou wilt, you know, like Alessa Crowley said, that's satanic, man. So, if you think that this system is, is righteous, then you need to really take a good look at, you know, the world, man, and, and basically go back to the drawing board, man. Because this is uh, a world full of wickedness. It's exalting the wicked. Sodomites again being exalted. People that steal, rob and steal being exalted. Drug dealers being exalted in movies. You know, these dope dealers, Tony Montana. Everyone wanted to be Tony Montana, man. Porn stars being exalted. They're nothing, man. They're a bunch of bunch of sluts, man. A bunch of, a bu a bunch of that's what they are, man. People are having uh, these, these uh, uh, how you call it, these, um, just like uh, Comic Con and shit, only for porn stars and all that shit. What kind of shit is that, man? And you have the husband right there. Yeah, you can take a picture with my wife. Is she your wife? She's everyone's bitch, man. Yeah. Committing uh, uh, adultery with the eyes and all, uh, all types of things, yeah, man. Bro. Crazy shit, man. Oh, yeah, my husband does, does mine. You know, he loves me to be for. Yeah, them, them cuckolds, man. Loving you, you know, love to see the go, uh, you know, have their wives being rabbits, man. What's this, man? But it is what it is, enough with the rant. Uh, can you read it? Uh, can you finish that? I'll read it again from the top. Second Thessalonians, that wicked is revealed, man. It's Esau, man. How, is, uh, how are the things of Esau being searched up? It's because of the prophets of Yahweh Basham Yahushan, man. We're exposing you for what you are. Then you come and you, you play your devil role, being the slanderer. One that chooses to side with Satan, you know, and opposes the Heavenly Father, man. That's what the word Diabolos, devil, goes into when you go to Revelation, you know, 12, 12. You know, huh? And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Most High shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, man, when Yahweh Shai comes back, it's a wrap, man. You know, the chariots will come back and it's going to be done, it's going to be over with, man. So, uh, can you read the, the, the Psalms? That's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Do you get Ephesians uh, 2, verse Be sure it is word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yeah, man, so the Most High is dealing with Israel, man. We got the law, sets and commandments. Same thing with uh, the Apostle Paul is basically giving you a, a reminder in Romans 9, verses 1 to 5, man. You know, all the covenants, the service of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, the promises, it's all for us, man. Okay? He had not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Yeah, man, so he ain't dealing with these other nations like he's dealing with us, man. Only you have I known among the families of the earth, man, you know? So the Most High is dealing with us. He has special rules for us because He doesn't want us to be fuck-ups like all of y'all that are out there, man. Like the heathen nation, them, you know, even them two-thirds, man. It's the elect within Israel, man. Chosen, electos, chosen. The ones that are preordained to make it, you know. 7,000 men that haven't bowed the knee to Baal, you know. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a difference between the ones that follow Yahweh Basham Yahushai and the ones that are just, you know, doing whatever the hell they want, man. I, I was thinking about the... Uh, with the man at. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Um... So uh, what did you have up? Huh? I had Ephesians 2, yeah. I think 11, yeah. Gentiles in the flesh. No, 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 um, uh, 2, verse 1 and 2. Ah, I can't. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And you had the quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Yeah, man, the, you walk walking according to the course of this world, so that's why we shouldn't go back to it, man. But of course, with the, when the Gentiles uh, came in, 
back in the time of the Maccabees, when you know some of our people that were so fucking bright, you know, to go to these uh, damn demons, you know, in the time of uh, Pontius Pilate, you know, or of uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, as lucky Pontius Pilate was uh, in the time of the Lord. Same thing went there, went, went on there, man. They basically, uh, uh, how do you say that? Uh, show their allegiance with the devil, man, by saying, you know, uh, uh, crucify him, crucify him, and let the uh, barrel us go. But in, in the time before that, in the time of the uh, of, of, of uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, they went to these uh, to these devils, to the king, to ask them uh, permission, man, to be like them. You know, making themselves uncircumcised, man. Doing away with the, the laws, the text, the commandments, you know, doing away with everything that they stand for, man. T taking away, basically, yeah, making yourself uncircumcised is, uh, if you're circumcised, which, you know, in the laws, uh, you know, the eight, uh, after the eight month of the eight days, you have to be uh, 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 circumcised. So you can't undo that. You can't just buy some foreskin and, you know, sew, sew it back on. It's in your flesh. In the mind, I mean, man, that other one is for the flesh, and to make yourself uncircumcised in the uh, in the spirit, you just casting away, you know, uh, you're turning your back into the heavenly Father, man, doing away with your heritage, being like these uh, like these damn uh, heathen, man. Because you have two different types of Gentiles, you know, you have the ones that are like the Hellenistas that, that make, uh, you know, the Greek-speaking Jews, and if you go to Acts six and one. If you go into the translations, you see that the, there was a dispute between the Grecian Jews and the Hebraic Jews. So it was all of Israel that was not getting along because one was following after the damn devil. And the other ones knew who they were but weren't on point as well. And you know that you shouldn't, if someone doesn't want to hear the law, treat them like a heathen in the publican, man. The Lord said it. But now through the mercy of the Lord, uh, uh, of, of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, we had to go out there through the Apostle Paul, you know, who was moved through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know. The Gentiles could come back in, man, through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. So you can, because uh, Yahweh Shai brought that repentance, man. Can you get that in uh, Acts uh, uh, 5? Uh, read. Mm. When in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Yeah, they, you know, it's a being satanic, man, Satan. Huh? The spirit that now, that now worked in the children of disobedience. Yeah, man, the, that spirit that now worked in the children of uh, disobedience. And if you go to 2 Thessalonians, uh, uh, again, uh, Second Thessalonians. Yeah, chapter uh, two. And let me look up uh, the word disobedience. Two verse eight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, man, that guy also. I was speaking <laughs> to my colleague like, hey, R. Kelly. He had everything. All the, you know, he had. He can fuck all these girls, sing. You know, had had the attention, and I heard that he was uh, a pain to work with, man. But he was very demanding because he thought himself he was shit. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Even uh, you know that that that, that fag, you know that vagabond uh, jigger. Yeah, he was uh, saying like certain things. He demanded a lot of shit, and he was basically uh, <laughs> you can't really deal with this guy, man. So, so-called diva, which is also a, a god, a goddess, so-called. But now look at him. Look at you. Yeah. You know, look at him, man. He's, he's, uh, he's running away, man. He even got his manager now, eh? talking about that he was threatening uh, the parents. The, uh, the, the, yeah, the people of uh, who uh, they were a uh, rape or whatever. Yeah, of the victims. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, hey, if you want to talk shit, okay, we got something for you too, man. So, they going to come for everyone, man. They don't give a damn, man. Um behind Bar Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's what it is, man. You can just put the BA in front of the, 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 the R, man. Bar <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> you behind bars now, man. But, um, uh, let me see. Disobedience. It goes into, uh, up, up by fear. Damn Greek. 
G543, uh, and it goes into obstinacy, obstinate, opposition to the divine will. That goes hand in hand with the word Diabolos, man. Because again, Diabolos, G12 tw uh, and uh, 28, it goes into slanderer, a calumniator, one that knowingly comes up with false charges to defame you. That's a calumniator. False accuser, slanderer again. So <laughs> you already know what this is about, man. Esau is, is, is like, I mean, y'all the, the wicked, you, you, you're hateful of hatred. Man, we are showing you the mirror, you stupid asshole, man. We are showing you the mirror. We are showing people what you have been doing, your track record, man. That's what you love to do in the court. Yeah, well, when you were 12, you stole a candy bar out of, so I think you, <laughs> you're not fit for this job, mm -hmm. you know? Esau loves to keep track on you, man. But when we put all uh, all things together that you have done and you are bragging about, but now we show a little bit, you know. Shame. Yeah, now it's shame. It's not an evil regret. It's, it's like shame. It's, that, yeah, shame that, that I got caught. caught. Yeah, yeah that he got caught. That's and now you're mad. <laughs> it was a long time ago, you devil. Like like that the drawing of uh, YT politics, man. You also always used to draw these devils and, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what it is, man. So, and metaphorically applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of Yahweh, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So he's opposing the will of the Heavenly Father. The Most High is all righteous, man. So, if you oppose righteousness, what does that make you? Then shall that wicked be revealed. That's, that's what it is, man. You know? And again, here, uh, Apathia, you know, the, the, the children of disobedience is uh, obstinate. Obstinate opposition to the divine will. Obstinate and rebellious. Disobedience, unbelief. Uh, God doesn't, uh, you know, it ain't no God. You know, the, can you get the Psalms of 14 and 1? Huh. And a lot of our people are starting to act like these damn devils as well, man. Yeah, man. Ah, man, that's, that's a lot of later, kid. It's, it's, it's not it's a long time ago, man. That, can you get the second Peter Street? We got Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Yeah, man. So the fool has said within his heart, there is no God, man. And the word obstinate goes into stubborn. And our people, you know, as stubborn as hell too, man. Stubborn refusing to change one's opinion or chosen cause of course of action. So stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or chosen course of action, despite attempts to persuade one to do so. Stubborn, headstrong, willful, unbending, stubborn as a mule, pig-headed, you know? And pig-headed goes into uh, stupidly obstinate, you know? He was too pig-headed to listen, or I was too pig-headed to listen, you know? That's an example. Reverse, you know? And Esau is a, is, a, is a profane man outside the temple, and he is perverse, man. Because if you go to, can you get Habakkuk uh, 2? Can't. And you can read that one. So our people are, are stubborn too, man. Don't forget that. If you go to the book of uh, Isaiah, the first chapter, can you also get that one, uh, Isaiah 1 and 3? Because two heavily stubborn animals are being described in, the, in, the, in that verse, man. Uh, but our people are sick. You have it already? The I, 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 I have a cook. You have the Isaiah first? Yeah, if, you, if you're there. Isaiah chapter? Uh, 1 and, uh, and 3. Uh, this, I, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Hey, Shalom, you have a question? Hey, Shalom. Go on, read. The ox knows its owner, and the ass is master's script. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. Man, but they don't uh, consider, man. They don't care. As long as they have their freedom. But, now Esau either is thinking, this, uh, you know, uh, as they say, basically, uh, they always use that, the, that monkey wrench because, you know, Jake invented that wrench, man. But he basically threw a wrench in it, man. Fucking up the, the you know, the, the whole process. And, and, and you know, making it uh, uh, basically stop functioning in a correct manner. And now you see that everything's being fucked up because if you don't have no V, then you can't do anything, man, that you 
in the world would like uh, love to do. For us, we don't give a damn, man. If we want to go to the gym, you know, we work out at home, we have our things at home, you know, you can order online or whatever, man. It ain't really a big uh, change, man. You know, you can still cook, you can have, have someone come over, cook for you. Hey, as long as you can have people over or whatever, you can be still good. And, you know, we, we're doing a thing anyway, man. And the man bugging him for help. Oh, yes, he's here for him. I hope the last one for him. But, um, yeah, man. More and more bug outs. And that's another thing, man. There's multiple demons going around, man. You know? But, um, you know, now it's, it's stuff is being messed up, man. And that's why you see people crying, being depressed. You know, because Esau knows stress kills, man. So he, he got you on the double, in the double whammy. He, he, if you don't take this, this whole thing, this, this, this V, then he got you stressed out. And stress, you know, you, you get high blood pressure, you, you, you know, you get heart failure, all that, man. You're broken, he's breaking your spirit. And the scriptures speak about it, it, your spirit is broken, that's, that's fucked up, man. You can die from that, man. Because you're being totally oppressed. And if you're being oppressed, oppressed, it's, it's, if you if you don't have your Hawa Basham Yosha and you're being oppressed, he's applying that pressure upon you, man, in wickedness, you're going to break eventually, man. You know? You're going to break eventually, man. You can be tough, but if the pressure is long on, you're going to start to crack. You start, you start to crack, man. What are you going to do then? How are you going to be saved of this, uh, uh, you know, uh, from, uh, from all this hell, man? How are you going to be saved, man? Esau got it, got it, uh, you know, everything is, is being locked down. In Austria, you got that uh, mandatory uh, jab now. You have people, uh, police walking uh, to and fro in stores everywhere. You got Australia that got their camps going on, you know, for people that need to be quarantined, you know, to, that need to be restored into good health. What do you think a fucking camp is going to be where people are going to be held against their will? If it's gonna, is that going to be restoring you to good health? It's going to be restoring, <laughs> putting you in hell. That's what it's going to be, man. Well, read. The Second Thessalonians. Uh, uh, Second Thessalonians. Uh, what did you have, uh, Salakia, man? The, I was reading uh, yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah 1. Isaiah chapter 1, verse uh, 3. The ox know with his owner, and his ass his master's script. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. Yeah, you can continue to verse 7. Yeah, man. So our people don't give a damn, man. And now, when shit is the fan, then they want to say, Lord, Lord. But what did Yahweh Shai said? Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, you know, is going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, man. Because you're basically an opportunist. When it's lip surface time, you know, when you see shit in the fan, then you be like lip surface. Yeah. Oh, Lord, help me. Yahweh Basham, hey, man. You shouldn't even know, uh, man. You should be coming in right now, man. And not when, when, how does that look? You know, you coming in because shit is hitting the fan. It's, that's not love, man. You don't love Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Can you get that? Their heart is far from me. And also Ezekiel 33, uh, by the way. Can you get that? Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 17 on, uh, on down if I'm correct. That's that precept. And from there, I will uh, go into uh, the rest. But uh, yeah, read. This is the book Isaiah chapter 1, verse 7. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devoured it in your presence. Yeah, man, that's that's the effect of you turning your back into the Heavenly Father, man. Our land is, is taken away, man. These devils now have it in, in their, their, their filthy red hands, man. Having a mosque there. Had that, uh, that's an infamous mosque, man. That needs to be burned to the, you know, thus said the Bible, man. Every every idol, every uh, building that you see here, you wish I said it, man. Every building that you see in shall not be one stone upon one uh, upon another. Hey, what's up, man? Shalom. It's not going to be one stone stone upon the other, man. You know. So the, all these buildings were in. What do you think, man? That the Most High going to let that uh, 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 that abominable building stand there? You know, where demons dwell, man, to get you stuck on that uh, that 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 piss that piss line, man. Come. So the land is being ransacked by these devils. Everything is messed up. You have the kaboots, uh, the kaboots. Everything needs to be important to, to be able to grow. Ain't shit growing, man. But wickedness, <laughs> you know? That's what it is, man. 
because wicked people are there, and that's what is oozing out, man. You see that satanic, uh, you know, face of uh, Nathan Yahoo, aka Satan Yahoo, as I like to call him, because that's what it is, man. He's given by Satan, man. Satan is giving him shit, man. But yeah, your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Yeah, man. It's desolate as overthrown by strange can't read. Is it the, the whole head is sick? I wanted that one. It's first oh, second. I have to go back then to the first five. Oh, so I, yeah, I thought it was... Uh... Because after the ox know it, then you get a sinful nation. Yeah, yeah. And then you get the whole head is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want... You yeah, want the, the whole head is sick. Yeah, that one. Uh, I said chapter one, verse five. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. Yeah, man, like obstinate people, man. Stubborn to the to the maximus, man. Because you being whooped into, uh, uh, you know, uh, you have children, you whoop them, they're going to listen. You have children, that whoop, you whoop them, you whoop them. Like the scriptures say, one that is, uh, um, how do you say that? Who was it, man? Uh, reproved a lot, he's going to harden his neck, man. So eventually you have to break that motherfucker's neck, man, basically, man. Because he's good for nothing. Those who want to get, get, get that real quick in uh, uh, Luke 19 and 27. Because if you don't want to listen, it's either you, you, you get down or you be laid down, man. And when the Lord comes back, he's not going to be asking, uh, hey, man, uh, you know. It's over then, man. Because on this side, the door is closing, man. The doors of mercy is, uh, are shutting down, man. And if you don't want to uh, repent and, and come to the Lord, man, you are the enemy, man. Because look at the ones that are ruling right now. You are agreeing with them because they are uh, not, not complying, man. They, they can't. But, you know, just to throw out, an, uh, throw out an example, they are not down with Yahweh Basham Yahushai. They are your enemy. And they are luring, luring you in their world, which is going to be full of pain and death. And the same as no, you don't believe it? Second as is nine, man. Can you read this? It's the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, 